Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to the Family First Life Emerald City YouTube channel. I am Brittany Fontana, and I'm excited to introduce to you one of our top agents at Family First Life Gold Coast, and that is Darion Hutch. Everyone, please welcome to the channel. Hey guys, uh, thanks for having me on, Brittany. I'm super excited to be here. Yes, we love that you were, when I reached out to do the interview, you were all go for it. I was super pumped. I was like, yes, we got Darion who wants to do the interview. Let's do this. So Darion, I know we've only known each other for a brief amount of time. I got to meet you for the first time in Miami, which was awesome. It was great to see your excitement at the convention, but I've only heard things here and there about you and they've all been great things and you've led leadership boards. You've helped protect numerous families on numerous occasions, but tell me a little bit about what you were doing before Family First Life and how you found us. So uh, before Family First Life, I started with a company that went by the name of uh, a practice company. Well, we'll say we'll say a practice company. <laughs> um, so with that company, we provided supplemental benefits. We specialized in working with uh, group sites. So state of California, different school districts and things along those lines. Uh, when COVID hit, you know, it, it kind of just wrecked the entire business and we had Got no way to go to work. So um, as a result, you know, Weston Whitlock ended up coming over and, and finding, finding a great opportunity here at Family First Life. Uh, me and Eric, we, we saw him having some great success and I mean, we couldn't miss out. You know, it, it was a it's a lot more of a wholesome thing to be doing, um, protecting families for, you know, the most important thing, which is passing away um, or even mortgage protection in other situations. So um, I'm, I'm just super glad and blessed to be here. And even before my practice company, I, I was working at a dog daycare. So I'm definitely taking a couple steps in the right direction. <laughs> there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's awesome. So. You mentioned you were at a practice company. Now, obviously there's differences in each company and how they run and do things. What about FFL made you want to take that leap besides Weston's success? Was there anything else that stuck out to you that, you know, spoke volumes to you and Eric? And because obviously you guys are here now running yeah. FFL Gold Coast. Yeah. So what about that? So, so the biggest difference I would say, and the reason why I refer to it as a practice company is because our, our commission level started off at, as an agent at, at 30%. <laughs> and then when you got up to a state manager, which is, you know, operating a whole state, a massive organization, yeah. you only get up to 50%. So, you know, just seeing oh, the, wow. the amount of opportunity here at Family First Life, you know, starting off at a 90% or even a hundred percent commission was just like, wow, I finally get to, you know, help out families, but also get paid my worth. So that that was the biggest difference. And also seeing the opportunity where, you know, we can go above and beyond that 100 percent if we're truly protecting families and doing the right thing by, you know, agents and families. Right. I mean, you would think most people would want to take that model because it does. It keeps the morale there for the agents. Agents are excited that they're working for a company, even though they're independently contracted, but someone that believes in them enough to start them at a higher percentage. Like right. we believe in you that you're going to protect these families, do it ethically correct and do all the right things. We're going to start you and reward you keep earning it because it can get better. And so yeah. I think you would think most companies would want that model, but Hey, you know, that's what makes family first life, family first life. Right. Now, Darion, seeing you at convention, was this your first convention you've gone to? Yes, this actually was my first convention. Um, I, I started back in April of last year. So first convention. Got you. So what was your biggest takeaway with the, with the convention? Man, I mean, I have literally a, a notepad full of notes from convention, but <laughs> I, I would right? say I, I, mean, I, had a, I had a couple of huge takeaways, but my biggest takeaway was just simply a, a shift in mindset when it comes to why we do what we do. You know, I know that we obviously I mean, having a hundred percent commission, we can make some great money, but the, the point yeah. is, is you know, not it's, it's not so more so focused on the money. It's more so focused on what we're doing to be able to attain that, which is protecting families. And so, you know, after the convention, I, I saw everybody, you know, and how they spoke about protecting families. And it really spoke to me about, you know, being less selfish when it comes to my mindset and actually going out and doing this for others. And, you know, <clears throat> just simply uh, being able to reap the benefits for me, just going out and doing a great thing and focusing on others compared to me focusing on the, the monetary gain that I can attain from this. And I would say that that's the biggest shift in mindset that I've had. I'm doing it for others yeah. now compared to, you know, just doing it for myself. Yeah. And I, and I love that. And I love that you specifically 
focused in on that because I think that spoke to a lot of people. I know it definitely helped me in, in my role that I'm in. I know I'm not a current active agent in the field, but from a building aspect and helping Brad build his agency and build his brand, I mean, you do have to take it off you for a little bit. Like, you know, I was like, I don't want to post all this stuff. Like, I don't want to be annoying. I making it about me and my feelings and going to annoy the thousands of people that I don't know on social media. Right. I had to take it off myself. And I think we have to remember that in this industry is it's really not about you. It's about what you're doing and the other people involved. You have to be selfless in this industry of notice. And that, that can be hard. Um, I, I know for me, it definitely has been challenging. What ways have you come overcome those obstacles and not making it about you? I mean, do you have any you know advice or any tips for that? Uh, I would just say, um, I mean, focusing out. So, you know, whether it's me yeah. waking up on a dial day and, you know, let, let's say I, I wake up on a dial day and, and I'm not, I'm really not feeling it. Like, you know, I really don't want to dial and do, you know, do all the things that come with I get dial it. Day. But, um, you know, if, if I change my mindset and I shift it to, well, I'm going to dial and, and set appointments to go and protect families. And ultimately, if, if, if I don't go and do this, there is a potentiality for, you know, an individual to pass away next week or even tomorrow without any coverage. Um, and, you know, I, I would take full responsibility for that. So I would say more so just owning the responsibility and, actually realizing what having a, a license to provide insurance actually means, right? Taking on that responsibility yeah. and knowing that I'm literally the one going out and protecting the families so that if something does happen, they have something in force that's going to, uh, you know, either leave behind a legacy or just come for funeral and burial, but ultimately not leave behind a huge amount of debt to their family members. And, and that's my job. And I take conviction behind that. Yeah. So really finding the value in what we do as agents, I mean, <clears throat> is huge and it's going to speak volumes and that's going to come out in your confidence when you're doing something like this, speaking in an interview or, or speaking, you know, to a client or, you know, if you're building, speaking to a new recruit. I mean, you have to have that there in order for them to realize this is real, this is serious, and this is your heart speaking. It's not just some gimmick that you're hearing or, you know, it seems robotic. It's right. natural. It's your story. It's you. Um, and, I, and I appreciate that. That's awesome. So the big golden question, I know people always point this out. How, how old are you, Darian? <laughs> Everybody's favorite question to ask me. Uh, so I'm 21. I turned uh, turn 22, turn, turn 22 this year. So I'm 21 right now. So that being said, you're a huge success here. You're at a young age. I mean, how do you do it? It's so impressive, you know, especially when I see the younger agents just out there grinding and motivating and doing the right things and having the right mindset. Like you said, that's hard to have to begin with at any age. So to have, be so young, have the right mindset, have the right motivation and work ethic. I mean, what's your secret? What's the secret to this, Darion? Because I want to know <laughs> what it is. Sauce. So, you know, <laughs> I, would just, I would say for myself, just like everybody else, you know, I'm not perfect, just like no one's perfect. So there are the days where I'm feeling a, li a little bit less motivated. But I think the biggest thing when it comes to, you know, being successful, not only in with FFL, but I mean, just being successful in life in general is having, um, you know, not only having the, the support system from others around you, uplifting you and making sure that when you kind of fall off the rails, that they're going to go ahead and put you back on track to keep you right. And, you know, Eric and Weston do that great for me. I've learned everything that, that I've needed to know about insurance essentially from them. But most importantly, having the conviction within yourself and also the discipline to be able to wake up every single day, um, you know, do something really repetitive, but also just know that that is for, for a greater purpose. Um, and then another thing that I would say is also focusing on, you know, doing this for my family, creating a legacy for my family as a comparison oh, to yeah. just, you know, focusing on the, the benefits that I'm getting from it right now. Um, I, I did have some previous experience when it came to emotional intelligence. Yeah. So, you know, getting in touch with uh, my, my inner being and kind of realizing that why I do what I do. So, you know, I would say discipline the, those around me. Um, as well as doing it for something that's bigger than myself, such as my family, creating a legacy are, are the main things that keep me going and keep me pushing. I love that. And I hope everyone watching took notes on that because that's how you get to be successful at a young age <laughs> is discipline and knowing your why. <laughs> so that's awesome. Now, Darion, <clears throat> I always like asking this question because this is our main focus, right? Is how many families we're helping. 
Um, so if you could guess the best to your ability, what's been the highest amount of families you were able to help in a month? Highest amount of families I've been able to help in a month. Um, nothing crazy off the wall like Mr. Brad Allen, but the highest amount of families <laughs> I've protected, um, it's right around 22 or 23 families. So I'm definitely looking to no. double that moving all through 2022. Um, but yeah, 22 or 23 uh, families. No, that's that's still amazing. It's better than zero. So if you even said one, I would be pumped <laughs> to hear that because that's still one less person that has to worry about anything, you know, God forbid happens to them and their families. So I think that's incredible. I think without a doubt, I know Brad believes it, Eric Weston, we all think the world of you. So I definitely think you're going to be able to definitely double those numbers um, with your with your right discipline, the work ethic you have. I think you're going to definitely be able to hit all those goals. So I'm excited to see what you do for this year for Gold Coast. I'm sure they are all pumped to see as well. So I just want to thank you, Darion, for taking the time to speak with us today. We're excited. We're watching. And I can't wait to see what uh, you wearing that Hall of Fame jacket, maybe this year That's or next. Definitely happening. One well, hundred. I can't wait to see you in that red. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in that. For That's sure. awesome. Thanks for well, me. thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you again, Darion. Don't forget, guys. Click to subscribe. See the social media handles. Don't forget to join those as well. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>